Celebrating its 10th anniversary, the winery tour kicked off on Friday and is set to present 10 shows in stunning vineyards and outdoor venues all around the country. Celebrating the Kiwi summer, it showcases music from the amazing Brooke Fraser, Beck Ronger and Benny Tiffany as well. What a pleasure to have you with us now, Brooke and Benny. Yeah! Oh, Hey Brooke, I must say you uh, you've been living in LA for a few years now, haven't have, you? Yeah. It's good to be back. Oh, so good. I'm eating all of the food everywhere. What did you miss the most? Um, glow hearts. You know those little <laughs> lollies that yes. are kind of anesthetic? I can't find them anywhere else in the world. So I used to be able to get them for 50 cents a bag when I was a kid. Now they're $4.80 mm, at the yeah. <laughs> station. But, you know, I, I paid the mark up. Yeah, that's how much I'm it's devoted. Worth it. yeah. And uh, you're expecting baby number two. And Congratulations. That's true. Thank you for saying that, because I'm kind of at that stage where I still wonder if people are like, oh, she's been hitting the donuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of donuts. Cool. Because you are your first child is what? What's she's it? one. What's yeah. the gap going to be? So very little. The gap will be very little, yes. That's all right. Under it's two years be... is fine. You'll yeah. be fine. It's going to be great, guys. <laughs> and Penny, are you expecting? No. <laughs> well, all the time, Mike. Yeah. Non-stop. Non -stop. Fear of your song, baby. Yeah, You're probably a few song. out there. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, 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 no babies. No, no babies. babies. No oh. babies. No. There's a story right now. Yeah. It's Mag's been watching that. You're done. Yeah, no, there'll, no, be, there'll, no be, a, there'll mags, be a title. No. Um, so, Benny, have you, I mean, this is your first winery tour, isn't it? Yes, it is. Excited yeah. to be working with these amazing ladies? Yeah, heck yeah, definitely. Um, I'm chuffed ass, you know. Um, it's uh, it's Brooke and Beck who I've known for musically for a long time, but I've only just met met Brooke uh, a couple of days ago. But uh, and Beck as well. But they're people that I've been listening to for a long time. Mum played the CDs in the cafe and then around the house, so they're people I've looked up to. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be awesome. And, and 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 the winery tour is such an incredible event. People mm. come, they enjoy it, they love it, and you really get to value for money. Because how long how long do you play for? Do you know? Um, I'm playing a 40 minute set. 40 minute set. That's like yep. your whole album, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then Vic is doing 60 minutes. Right. And then how long are you doing? I think I do an hour and a half. Yeah, so wow. you definitely get, yeah. She's got the a lot of music. Too, so. A lot of music. You yeah. get your money's worth, but yeah. an hour and a half of, of performing, do you get a stool to sit on at some stage? Because I know when I was pregnant, I, I just wanted no, to sit everywhere. I know. I do admit that I have strategically placed an acoustic set within my set where Good. I will, you know, sit down on a stool for a few songs. So I kind of that was quite deliberate. I'm like, I can't stand up. For that Are long. you in that stage where you're when you're on stage and you get up really elegantly like like this? Yes. All the all the inadvertent like noises that you make when you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> like just the kind of grunts. <laughs> there's a lot of like, yeah, there's a lot of grunting. Every pregnant woman is going, yes, yeah. yes, I yeah. know what you mean. Yeah. I make those old man noises of sound <laughs> nowadays getting up. Um, Benny, look, you know, you've had an incredible career to date so far, but what has been happening in the last six months for you? Um, mostly just writing and working on the next album, which should be released this year at some point. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, just a lot of uh, sort of self-searching after the whole like X Factor thing, you know, getting back to kind of where I was before the show um, because it was definitely a bubble yes. that I lived yeah. in for a while and then I didn't really know where I'd end up at some point. So yeah, it's just kind of figuring out what I really want to do with my music and uh, the important things of life. I expected though the experience would have been valuable. Though. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. And no way am I um, regretting it, or you know, um, if it were to happen again, to say to people like, definitely, if you're the right person for it, it's a great platform, and you can definitely use it. But there's a lot of hard work involved, and mm. you know, the show wasn't always going to look after me, so I had to work really hard after mm. it, and then. Yeah, we got here, so now I'm just figuring out what's going to happen next. Well, and yeah. the good thing is you're surrounded by fantastic people that no doubt you, all of you will be having yarns about music and creativity and families yeah. and fun. Mm -hmm. Is Exciting that what happens too. in between? Yeah, over yeah. a glass of wine? Well, not for Brooke. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, I'm Thanks having her shit. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but that's a good thing. I mean, you've got all this group of people um, all supporting each other. So is it like a family environment? You know, you've done two nights already. A family that have known each other for two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
No, it is. Well, we got to do like a week of promo kind of before the tour started. So a week of kind of, you know, hearing each other's stories and kind of, you know, obviously the time you get off camera and off mic as well. So it's been really good. And I, you know, I personally I'm, have been, I'd never met Benny um, prior to this trip. So I have just been like so impressed with obviously his talent, but also mm. you can tell he's a guy who has his head screwed on. Yeah, so no. He's going to be mm. okay. Great guy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think um, it's And fun. With him. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's fun. Yes. like my one. <laughs> it's nice work. Okay, tell you what, we'll be back in just a minute. More from these two. All the details of the winery tour as well. You must go and see it. We'll give you that so you know what to expect. So we'll be back straight after these. Benny Tiffany and Brooke Fraser talking about the winery tour. Now, this is your song that we're playing right now. Yeah, that's the one. Well, yeah. comes from your new single. Yeah. So you were saying before that you, you're coming back to where you were musically before X Factor. Where exactly is that? Um, I don't know, actually. Good question. Good question. Good question. <laughs> Still yeah. figuring it out. But, um, yeah, I think I got... Uh, it's like such an exciting... It was such an exciting time for me and such a... Uh, kind of didn't really know where I was sitting or where I'd be placed at the end of it. So I wrote with a lot of people and then got really into pop music and writing pop tunes and stuff, which I love, you know, I've grown to love pop music big time. But before that, I was um, playing live a lot and that was in like pubs and cafes and putting on shows in um, people's flats and, and all of that stuff. So I really think that for me to be uh, extremely happy is to be playing a lot more and this is a good way to start it with the winery tour so get be getting back in front of people and giving them something tangible something that's right up there and just playing to people and yeah it's yeah. about getting out into communities. Brooke you, you well both of you um, you're back in the country do you find both of you when you go to the supermarket that people are recognizing you do they stop and say hi? Sometimes because you've, got, you've really distinctive looking both of you Attractive too, by the way. I'm attractive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Um, uh, yeah, I've seen. I mean, I've seen Mike in the supermarket. I stop him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. stop yeah. him and do the selfie? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at do. this guy. Yeah. What about you, Brooke? Um, yeah, I do. But people are really nice, you know. No. Well, you're a big deal here, people. and it's awesome. You know. We love you, and oh, your music is just you. absolutely fantastic. Well, everyone's very sweet, so. Nice, yeah. And I want to get back to this uh, to, to, to a music question before Benny and you talking about finding yourself, I guess, in songwriting and performance. And Brock, you can answer this as well. Is there a moment where you go, "This is it. This is a song. This is where this is where I'm at right now." How many songs do you have to go through until that happens? Does it? straight away or does it take forever? Do you mean in terms of recognising that a song... We're just going, oh, this is the one for me. This song suits yeah. me, I want to release it, I want to put it on the album. Um, I don't know, I think you kind of have an instinct about things. Um, and then uh, there's a lot of guesswork as well. And then, I don't know, sometimes the things that you think um, will impact don't, and sometimes the things that you never expect are the things that kind of end up going far beyond whatever, what it, you know, what you could have imagined. So it's kind of, but I, I love that about it. I love the unpredictability, and I think if you are making stuff that you enjoy yourself and that, you're, that you believe in, then kind of the, you can make a piece with whatever happens right. to it, you know? Mm. Yeah. So never discard them, I guess, because the right time could happen, and you'll be like, oh, I need to find that song because it yeah. suits the moment right now. Now. Is it the same for you, Benny? Yeah, uh, yeah, it just kind of, like for me it's been, I've been already recording for a couple months and there's only ever been like three songs that really stand out to me and wow. then now it's like, okay, that's kind of the direction that I'll sort of head into. You know what it's like? This is a really dodgy analogy right here. <laughs> it's like when you get a really good clip that you find on the internet and you post it onto your Facebook page and right. you think everyone's going to like it. Right. No one does. But then you post one you think it's okay, everybody likes it. Ah, oh, yeah, well, that, that's a More good analogy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very, very modern analogy. <laughs> very in touch. No, Brooke, yeah. you've done so much touring and you supported David Bowie. Oh, gosh, yes, many moons How ago. did you feel when you heard the news last year? Or how did we all feel when we heard the news last year that he died? Um, obviously, I think, like, everyone shocked and it kind of... Um I, I don't know, sometimes it can still surprise you that people like that aren't immortal, you know? Yeah. Mm. I think when, when their catalogue is so immortal and their work, you know, will go on and on. So, um, you know, but just, um, you know, I loved the outpouring of tributes from all around the world and just, you know, the consistent stories of um, just what a good, you know, good character he was, how kind he was. And so on top of this incredible body of work, you had a, a man that was a good man, you know, a good human being. Is that so, what you found? That he yeah, I had an amazing experience with him and just... Um, yeah, was so struck by his humility and his kindness, and it always stayed with me. You know, I think I was, 
maybe 20 or 21 when that okay. happened and um, you know a really that was a formative experience for me not just because it was David Bowie but because of um, just um, knowing that you could still preserve your humanity you know when when you had um, as big an influence as he had was I think really encouraging yeah mm. cool and uh, time is just about up so who should come and see the winery tour Benny uh, everyone yeah. everyone that likes wine music um, the sun, hopefully, you know, like it's been out for a couple of weeks now. It's starting to yeah. shine through. Yeah, no, so you picked a good time. The Everybody year. that likes a good time. You know, there's come. something about the winery tours, isn't there? They're just, mm -hmm. they're just such a wonderful experience. So good luck for the thank rest you. of it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate it. And <clears throat> best luck for the rest of the year as well, actually. Yeah, you guys ho too. Hopefully, thank you come you. back and visit us, okay? Don't miss the winery tour, which continues in some incredible locations over the next few weekends. You can check out the website for all the details.